What you got, Jay? Oh, it's another one of my auntie's boxes. You know, her attic is like one big fat Mary Poppins carpet bag time machine. <laughs> it really is. We'll have to come back more often. This one is from the 1970s. My auntie said most of it actually belongs to grandma. Oh, cool. You want to take a look? Yeah, let me see. Let me see. Ooh. Whoa, what is it? You know, I'm not sure I know what it is. I'm not sure I want to know. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm Jay. And I'm Emma. Welcome to Press Play. We have to call your grandma about this. I'm scared, but I know you're right. We must. Oh, before we do, let's try and guess what she did with this stuff first. I'll go first. Um, your grandma was a singing disco dancer. My grandma was an Elvis impersonator. Thank you, thank you very much. In a Las Vegas show. <laughs> your grandma was an undercover agent who used this microphone to interrogate suspects. My grandma was the greatest pinball champion the world has ever known. I don't know why she needed the wig and mic for that, but she had them. <laughs> your grandma was the greatest karaoke host of the 70s. She hosted celebrity karaoke parties under the name Sister Sizzle. Hmm, well... Those are fun, but let's give her a call and really see what it was for. Hey, JJ. You caught me right in the middle of my daily combing session with my fur babies. Buford, hold still. Gotta get the kinks out. Grandma, Grandma, we found these things in a box marked 70s. Are they yours? You know it. That was a part of my costume for the game show I hosted. Oh, what? Yeah, it was called Don't Say It, Display It. It never really caught on. Some other show about prices or something came out at the same time. It sounds fun. Oh, it was, JJ. People had a partner and they had to act out or display the prize they were trying to win. The partner had to guess it without them Man, saying it. I wish we could have seen that. Wait, maybe we can see that. You thinking what I am? Oh, yeah. Three, Three two, two, one, press play! play. Whoa! <laughs> Welcome back to Don't Say It, Display It. I'm here with our guests, Jay and Emma, two young people I don't know at all. And we are about to bring out our first prize for them to try and win. But before we do, you know what time it is. No, we don't. To get everyone in the Don't Say It, Display It mood, it's time for a disco dance break. Rocco and the Rockers, give us a groovy tune. <laughs> All right, cats and kittens, birds, pup, lizards. Huh? Let's bring out the first prize. We'll show Emma, but not Jay. Emma will have to... Don't say it, display it! And Jay will have to guess it correctly in order for them to win. Roll the prize on out! Woo! Okay, um, <clears throat> ready? And don't say it, display it! Um, um, uh. Uh huh, uh huh. It's a bike. Emma? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Luckily, you get to try again. Roll out another prize. Woo! Ready? And don't say it, display it! Okay. Um. Uh-huh. It, uh, it's, a, it, it's a pinball machine? Emma, oh! don't say it, display it! That's too bad. That's right, folks. Here on display it, don't say it. Your actions must speak louder than your words. There's a Bible story all about that very thing from the book of Luke, chapter 16. Bible stories in the middle of a game show? Why not? The story was about two men, one rich and one poor. The poor man was named Lazarus, and he sat all day outside the rich man's house begging for help. 
The rich man never helped him, never noticed, never cared, never showed Lazarus any kindness or love, even though he was right at this doorstep every day. The Bible says when Lazarus died, he was greeted by Abraham and taken to a place with no more pain and suffering. When the rich man died, he was taken to a very opposite kind of place where he would never be happy again and was thirsty all the time. Whew, this story just got heavy. Majorly heavy, Daddy-O. My grandma just called me Daddy-O. The rich man looked up and saw Lazarus next to Abraham and said to Abraham in Luke 16, 24, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue because I am in agony in this fire. Whoa, I bet you wish you would have treated Lazarus differently. That's right, groovy lady. It's obvious the rich man had no love in his heart for Lazarus, which is why he didn't even think to show him a little kindness. Something he probably regretted so much now. You know, I tell lots of people I love them and God loves them. The people at my church, the mail carrier, the lady who grooms my cats, you, Jay, and Emma. Hey, why don't we last? But loving with words only can't do. When it comes to love, don't, don't say, say it, it display, display it. it. You got it, groovy cats. Love always needs action. Thank you. Rocco, are the smoke alarms going off? Well, that just means we have to go, Grant. I mean, <laughs> groovy talk show host. Okay, right on. Handshake time. Join with us. Pow! Um. What are you doing, Emma? Ah, I gotta work on the display it, don't say it stuff. What am I motioning to you? Hmm. Oh. Review? Recap. Yes! <laughs> awesome. We pressed play and got to visit my grandma's old game show. It was fun, although we didn't win. Grandma taught us about Luke chapter 16 and how the rich man had his chances to show love to Lazarus, but he never did. We can talk a lot about showing love for others, but love always needs action. Don't just say it, display it today. Because trends come and go, but Jesus is always trending. Now it's time to drop, drop the, the verse. verse. We're dropping the ball. Oh, is it that time already? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, okay. What is that verse? Let's drop it. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. Hebrews 13, 8. One more time. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, yesterday and today yesterday. and forever. Okay. Hebrews 13, 8. Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ is the same yes, yesterday today, and today, today and forever. forever. Hebrews 13, 8. Hebrews 13, 8. Okay! Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever.